Welcome back to Hip Hop Radio, everybody. Oh, man. I don't know whether to <laughs> laugh or cry right now. Hey, <laughs> get off my hip hop music. All who right, is so, this? Do you so, know who this is? Um, I believe it's Moni Love. Moni Love? Yes. I just want to point out this is being played via cassette tape right ba- now. From way back in the day. Boy, it's it's amazing. Okay, so I was telling Nick that this was a cassette that a friend made for me because this was back in the day when I was really into my dancer size and working out and loving the hip hop music. And so we, of course, worked out while ABC News was was on the air to an expanded version of uh, MC Hammer. Talk about expanded, <laughs> 16 minutes long. And then the next song was this one. Um, which is um, Moni Love. I don't remember the, the correct title, but anyway, another dance song. Because during that time, dance music was, you know, mm-hmm. it. And so... Um, Can you give us a year here? Circa 19... 90, 91, 92. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was uh, seven or eight years old. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Yeah. So this is when we went out, you know, how people go out to drink and hang out. We went out to dance, and so we would dance. And then I had this cassette made so that I could have something at home to, mm. to sort of work out to and dance to. And um, I can dig it. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, because I don't have a cassette player at home anymore, you know, I'm in the new millennium in some res- respects of my life. Mm-hmm. I brought it here and I was like, Nick, throw this in our cassette player and let's see what's on it. I can't wait for the part where you just like start coming on and singing. You know, you like you were doing a little audition yourself in the in the bedroom, recording you yourself. Missed me rapping last week. <laughs> <laughs> we might need to take two on that. Yes. Sylvia Robinson, <laughs> who is the owner of a record label that put um one of the first rap songs to go commercial. Um, on vinyl and on the map, mm-hmm. passed away last week, and so I was doing a story on her. And of <laughs> course, I had to play music, you know, Rapper's Delight. Of course, a hip, hop, yeah. Hippie th- <laughs> yeah. So I was, I was rapping. I can rap. I can flow. I know you can. All right, <laughs> better than me. <laughs> so hey, welcome back, everybody, to Maryland's Cafe Society. Here. It's the entertainment hour, and of course, we're going to look at some entertainment news. We'll take a look at Dancing with the Stars, my notes, and was I right? We all know who got voted off, but was I don't know who got voted off. You don't? Okay. No. All right. Yeah, because some people really aren't into it. Yeah, I'm kind of fighting it. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to be into it, but mm-hmm. my wife and I have a bet on who's going to win. So okay. I kinda, I'm, I've been following it a little bit. Okay. All right. And then also the sing-off. You have no clue. No. Yeah. Yeah. You made it known early on when you joined me that you weren't into to singing that much. No. People, I mean, I like to listen. people who try to sing. I like to listen to you. To, I just, uh, hey, <laughs> you're going to keep bringing that up and make me feel bad. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we're going to look at all of that and maybe um, get on Nick's nerve because <laughs> we, he told us that people who try uh, to sing not, karaoke. Not, I don't like karaoke. I don't. It's and like, that's another thing. Uh, we, we mentioned last hour we were going out with this Halloween thing. They're mm-hmm. going to a karaoke bar. Oh, yes. No, no, <laughs> Marilyn, no. No. Fun times, no, Nick. Not fun. So, so the whole night it's going to be like someone's fingernails are just going down a chalkboard. <sighs> While you, I'm dressed right? up like some goofy you know, guy. Yeah, I, it's just I'm, I'm not feeling it. But anyway, okay. I, I digress. Mrs. Nick, make sure you get that on video, okay? <laughs> You got to get me really drunk. All right. So listen, guys. Prince Harry is here in the United States. Did you know that? He um, uh, arrived, I think, on Thursday at the Naval Air Facility El Centro in Southern California. And, uh, you know, we all know he's the second son of Prince Charles and Princess Diana and third in line for the throne behind his dad and his brother, Prince William. Well, he's there to on his attack skills as an Apache helicopter pilot. Yeah, he's a he's a, a helicopter pilot for the uh, Royal 
uh, Air Force, I believe, or maybe the Royal Navy. But, yeah, he's a helicopter pilot. He's uh, flown in Afghanistan and Iraq, I believe, and he's a pretty hardcore guy. Yeah, so he's going to be there for about a month, they say, before heading to Gillibend Air Force Auxiliary Field in southern Arizona. Enjoy that. Now, <laughs> TMZ. Sure. Um, all these other entertainment reporter type um, media are on standby because this Arizona facility is s- reportedly about five, six miles from Las Vegas. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. So the big question is, you know, Prince Harry has a penchant for partying. And so they're wondering, is he going to be able to take some little excursions because he'll be at, at that southern Arizona spot. For oh. <laughs> Maybe Harry likes this music, too. Yeah, I bet he does. <laughs> so anyway, they're going to be waiting to see if he's going to be spotted sure. somewhere partying. I don't know. It seems like he's here uh, on official military royal business? military oh, business Oh, yeah, here. right. Okay. I'm we, not sure Queen Mama's going to enjoy that very but much. But we know yeah. how military men like to party, too, right? Also true. That's right. If he gets a little free time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, well, you know, they have to they have to unwind. It's so intense, especially those who've been out in battle. Speaking yeah. of that, we had a big welcome Welcome home celebration. Mm-hmm. I missed it because I wasn't in town. Well, guess who was there? On Thursday. You were there? Uh, I was there. How many of them were? Eight of them? There were uh, seven soldiers who uh, who came home, and there was also a memorial for two who didn't make it. Yes. Uh, they had, uh, it was a really small, I wouldn't even call it a parade, but they had uh, the, I, f- I forget what the, the motorcycle riders, you yes, know, yes. ride along. Uh, they had a fire truck out there guiding them in into oh, town. Oh, nice. They had a, uh, a ceremony at the VFW there on Horseshoe Drive. Very nice. It was really. I actually took a bunch of pictures. Maybe you can put them up on your website if you want to. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. Uh, it was a touching ceremony. It was good. Uh, they were you know, laughing and mm-hmm. you know excited to be back. So it was mm-hmm. good to see them. It, you know what? What really struck me was the seven. They were essentially standing up there for most of the ceremony, and it seemed to me like they didn't like all the attention. It seemed to me like they like you know they 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 th- thanked people for it. I think they appreciated what. Uh, everyone was trying to do, but it seemed, and I guess this is just my opinion, by looking at their gestures and their body language, like they just as soon, you know, not to uh, have all the recognition. So uh, I think it's important that we all uh, invite them back and, and thank them for their service. But uh, you know, let them uh, let them do their thing. And, well, you know, know sometimes they they don't like all the attention like that. That's how heroes are. You know, they, their intentions behind the things that they do are so honest Mm -hmm. and you know they don't do it for themselves untainted that when they do get the recognition for their heroic actions or you know whatever it is it is it's humbling and 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 some of them don't know how to hide it and we we treat them as if uh they are heroes and they are Mm -hmm. don't don't get me wrong they they Mm -hmm. they deserve everything that Mm -hmm. that they that they get but to them they're just doing a job. Mm-hmm. To them, it's just a job. So, mm-hmm. like, you know, why why do I deserve uh, a ceremony here? Isn't that great? But uh, obviously, and they're that, not those doing are, just a job. That's the best reason to celebrate it because yeah. typically they wouldn't want it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. As, they, opposed, they seemed, as opposed to someone who's standing there all smug like, yes, I deserve yeah. this. You know and, what I mean? And, and these these so, folks were the opposite of that. They, right. they, they weren't standing up there like that. They, I wouldn't go as far as to say they looked uncomfortable, mm-hmm. but I would say that, you know, I think they appreciated it, but they just as soon, you know, get this over with. Mm-hmm. And, you know, let's mm-hmm. get the attention off of me mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. continue on. But, you know, you know, thanks to, to those seven people and the two who didn't make it back for their service. And now they can get on with their, their lives at home. So congratulations. Yeah, to them. And it's going to be a transition. So welcome home, guys. And, you know, let's as a community continue to embrace them. All right. So continuing on with um, entertainment news. Did you hear about this one? I know you grew up with Dr. Seuss and Cat in the Hat. Love and all me some of that. Dr. Seuss. Well, Johnny Depp, can you just picture this? Yes. <laughs> has signed on to produce and star in a live action film about Dr. Seuss. And this is according to The Hollywood Reporter, but so far, uh, it's just a concept, an idea. There's mm-hmm. no screenplay yet or release date yet, but he is on. It seems like he's the perfect guy for that, doesn't it? He's the, I mean, with the the characters that he can pull off, That's the, right. the pirate from Pirates of the uh, mm-hmm. Captain Jack Sparrow, and mm-hmm. he played uh, the uh, 
chocolate Cho- chocolate factory Willy Wonka yeah and, and of know, course he, he his twist that oh, dark I twist he puts on it him in that. Yeah. Uh, he also played I believe uh, was he the Mad Hatter or he pl- didn't he play a role in um, some of the dark ish comedy mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah Edward Scissorhands that's it he played that mm-hmm, one that's a different mm-hmm. than I was talking about but he played that so I, I would I would imagine this Alice, doc- in, was Alice it, in Wonderland yeah, yeah. Alice in Wonderland mm-hmm. and I would imagine him to put his you know dark twist spin mm-hmm, on mm-hmm. Uh, on on Dr. On Seuss. Dr. Yeah. Seuss. All right. So boy, we'll just wait and see what happens with that one. Um they also are reporting and they meaning the Tribune newspapers have reported that the CW has canceled the Mario Lopez series H um H8R which stands for Hater. Hater. Yeah. Did you hear about that? You know what? One? I tell you what. I uh I, I watched that show once. It was the Kim Kardashian episode. Okay. I got to say, it was pretty entertaining. <laughs> and, and the premise of it, I believe, is um, uh, these people, like the public, sent in videos about why and how much they hate these celebrities. Mm-hmm. And then they get the celebrities to confront the people who hate them. That's right. And they spend the day together. It seemed like it was a great concept. It was good. And you know? actually, the, the one that I really liked was the, the founder and owner of, uh, oh, gosh. Um, late night infomercials. You know, young girls doing things they shouldn't be doing. Uh, oh, girls gone wild. Girls gone wild. The mm-hmm. guy who who founded Girls mm-hmm. Gone Wild. Mm-hmm. And obviously, there was a, a feminist who came and you know just said how this guy was the devil. He was evil. He's doing all these bad things. So she spent a day with him at his place, mm-hmm. and uh, she he turned her mind around. And it was very interesting to watch. So I, I like the concept, and, and I enjoyed it. I'd probably watch it again, but apparently I won't have the chance. No, and there's really no reason cited for why it's been canceled. But, you know, he's such a cutie to look at. You uh, know, he has all, all of what Hollywood yeah. is looking for in that respect. And he wasn't that big of a, a part. He, he was essentially just the person who introduced the celebrity okay. to the hater. Uh-huh. And then it was mostly the, the celebrity the footage and the person. Of them, yeah. yeah. But he wasn't a too big part of it. I well, see, maybe he the should have, they should have shown his face maybe. a little bit more. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe. You know, it's, it hasn't been a good month for the Lopez's with George Lopez's show being canceled. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sure there's no relation there, but yeah. hey, I'm just trying to be funny here. That wasn't that funny. Okay. Not, not your joke, but the George <laughs> Lopez show. Not funny. You didn't like I it? I didn't like it. Oh, I like him. Okay. He's good. Not a funny show. I hear you. Okay. So they're saying that Harry Shearer, who is one of the character voices on The Simpsons, yep. has told Fox that he will take, listen to this, a 70% cut and pay in order to keep the animated series on the air. All wow. he wanted in return was for a share in the profits. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? He didn't get it. They turned him down. Wow. So does that mean that the show's going to be axed? I hope not, because that is the what the longest running show on TV, mm-hmm. I believe. Mm-hmm. If not, it's definitely the longest running animated show, but it might be the longest running uh, comedy on TV. I'm not exactly sure, but it's got a good run. Yeah. I, I got in it long enough just to sort of get the premise of what yeah. the show is about, but I've never been been a big Simpsons fan. Okay. We need to take a break. When we come back, we're going to sort of get updated on this Michael Jackson trial situation. Take a look at Dancing with the Stars and the Sing-Offs. All right. <laughs> That's, so we still got the cassette player I just playing. let it roll, yeah. Yeah, it's just rolling. And so uh, Nick just kind of potted up what's playing now. This as long was, as there's no profanity. This is Shaba Ranks. Who? Shaba <laughs> Ranks. He's a reggae uh, star. I like, I like it, though. I like reggae. Yeah. Okay, so this was probably one of my cool down moments because we know <laughs> too legit Le- to quit was 18 minutes long. Uh, so I was probably sweating by then, and now I'm sort of cooling <laughs> off. All right, stay close to your radio. We'll be back with more after this.